Hello everyone, Boomer here. I want to do a part two to tell you a little bit more about who I am, where I'm from, and some of the things that are motivating me to through hike the Appalachian Trail. You'll hang in there with me for a few minutes. I think you'll find out a little bit more about who I am, what motivates me, and why the Appalachian Trail is important to me. So with that in mind, here we go. My name is Randall Bennett. I live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which is just on the outskirts of Nashville, Tennessee, Davidson County. I actually live in Rutherford County. Rutherford County is one of the top 30 growing communities in the country because of the growth that's going on in Nashville. So there's a lot going on here. I have lived here since 1996, which is almost 24 years now. So been here for a while, know the area. I retired in June, which gives me the time to try a through hike to the, of the Appalachian Trail. And for that, I'm very grateful. I'm originally from Northeast Tennessee. And if you don't know your geography, that is pretty much the heart of Appalachia, or at least Southern Appalachia. I'm about 20 miles from Bristol up there. I was about 40, 45 miles from Abingdon, Virginia. The trail goes right through there probably 60 or 70 miles from uh, Roan Mountain, Tennessee. And we used to visit there a lot when I was a kid because my parents had uh, friends up there. Uh, my mother loved to go to the top of the mountain and see the rhododendrons. The Appalachian Trail goes right through there. Another place that we used to visit was Gatlinburg. Now, back in those days, Gatlinburg is very, very different than what it was. We're talking, I was born in 1953 and I had my yeah second birthday the day after Emma Gatewood started her trek on the Appalachian Trail and if you've never read Grandma Gatewood's book you need to get it and read it and I've watched a lot of people and I've read a lot of books but what that woman did was phenomenal do yourself a favor and read it because you'll be glad you did but anyway we traveled around to go vacation we were pretty much in the area, we would sometimes go to Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina, occasionally get on the Blue Ridge Parkway, different things like that. But I grew up in Appalachia. And not only did I grow up there, but I've got deep roots there. I knew two of my great grandmothers. And that's I'm the fourth generation that I personally had contact with. And those all those people were born in the same area. It was either Northeast Tennessee or Southwest Virginia and a few people here and there in North Carolina. But the bottom line is Appalachia runs deep in my family. My son was born in Johnson City, Tennessee, and he is a fifth generation Appalachian. And uh, his wife is from Virginia, also Appalachian. And their children were born in North Central Pennsylvania, which is also very much part of Appalachia too. So there's an awful lot of Appalachian six, seven generations, and I would suspect, knowing my family, that it goes back much further than that. So Appalachia runs deep in my family. The map you're seeing on your screen will give you an idea of the geography of the area. Right through the center, you see the red line. That's the Appalachian Trail. To the top left, I've got some check marks there. The first check mark on top is Kingsport, Tennessee, where I was born. Uh, below that is Johnson City, Tennessee, where I went to college at East Tennessee State. After I completed college in 1975, I moved to Greenville, Tennessee for two years, and then in 1978, back to Johnson City, where I stayed until I moved to Nashville, the Nashville area, in 1996. This next map has a lot of places with blue checks where I used to visit on a regular basis, starting at the top, Damascus. I used to ride from Abingdon to Damascus on the Virginia Creeper Trail. Uh, coming down a little bit to the right, we've got Boone, North Carolina and Grandfather Mountain. I once took a bike ride with a friend from Boone to Asheville on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It was a lot of fun. Uh, going down a little bit further, we've got Roan Mountain. We've got Mount Mitchell, which we would go to uh, on a regular basis. Asheville, North Carolina, which I like to visit. Uh, over to the left, Irwin. Above that, the Laurel Fork Gorge, which is a place that my son and I camped. And we enjoyed doing that very much. 
Um, going on down to the bottom, the Smoky Mountains, Newfound Gap, uh, all the other places that we visited. And as you can see, I was very much involved with what was going on in that area. Now there is one place on the Appalachian Trail that I started camping with my son when he was fairly young. And that was a place called Dennis Cove Campground, which is just right off the Laurel Fork River and uh, the Laurel Falls there. And I saw those many years ago, really before I abs actually knew that they were part of the Appalachian Trail. But my son and I would go up there and camp. We would just go up there and hike on some of the trails and have a great time. And of course, we occasionally would see through hikers walking through. And it was already neat, always neat to see them. And I was uh, always interested in where they had come from and where they were going, hoping you know, that they were going to do the entire trail. And then it started to become known to me that people did through hike the trail. I'd run across it many times in my life, but there it was. People were hiking it from one end to the other. And I was amazed by that. And I knew that I couldn't just drop what I was doing and go give that a whirl. Hence my retirement. When I retired this last year, it put me in a position to do something like that. And I'm here to tell you, it's something that I've thought about for a long time, something that I want to do, and something I'm going to put my heart and soul into accomplishing over this next year. But anyway, um, I love Appalachia. I am Appalachian. And I want to hike that trail. I want to hike it from Georgia to Maine, from Springer Mountain to Mount Katahdin. And I want to finish it, and I want to stand on that sign. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. This, I said, is part two of my video. If you've got any questions for me about me, where I'm from, what my experiences have been over the years, please put them in the comments down below, and I will answer your questions. If you like the video, please hit like. Uh, and also, if you want notification of when new videos are being released, be sure to subscribe and click that bell.